Bonjour, mon nom est Alex Roberts, dans les Cows Beacon Hill, 5e année avec Mr. Robain, Quebec, Canada. Hi, my name is Alex Roberts, in Beacon Hill School, 5th grade, with Mr. Robain, Quebec, Canada. Hi, can you tell us more about your experiments with circuits? We're making different types of circuits using D-cell batteries, light bulbs, battery holders, and wires. What do you mean different types of circuits? Our job was to experiment on different combinations of circuits and observe what happens. We made a hypothesis of what we thought would happen. One student made a light bulb really bright with two batteries and one bulb. Another student lit two bulbs with just one battery. He found out that if he unscrewed one of the bulbs, the other went out too. This is called a series circuit. Aha! I was right. If one light bulb goes out, they all go out. Well, our teacher asked us to try and design a circuit with more than one load, like a bulb buzzer or motor that will keep on working if we remove one of the loads. One student drew a diagram with the same numbers of bulbs and batteries and used more wires going to each bulb. Did you try unscrewing one light bulb? Yes, when we unscrewed one of the bulbs, the other stayed lit. It was almost like the electricity went around the unscrewed bulb to get to the other. What? That can't be right. How is that different from the series circuit you made? In the series circuit, the electricity traveled in a circle through each bulb, but in a parallel circuit, it traveled to and around each bulb. Look at these two circuits. The first one is called a series circuit. It is basically a circle. When you remove one bulb, the flow of the electricity is interrupted. The second one is called a parallel circuit. The electricity goes to each resistor separately and bypasses the ones not connected. And that's the difference between parallel and series circuit. Our teacher said that we can make complex circuits by combining parallel and series circuit into one big circuit. That's what we're going to try next. Okay, this is great information. Thanks for your help. Au revoir, les amis. Bye!